Hi, this is David and Marcy aboard the sailboat Nine of Cups. We spent nearly a year exploring the island of Tasmania, Australia's most southern state, and we found it fascinating. While we were moored in the tiny town of Kettering, we borrowed a van and spent a day at the Hewen Show, sort of the Tasmanian version of a U.S. county fair. Like American county fairs, there was lots to see and do. There were carnival rides and games of skill. There were crafts like these chainsaw sculptures. There were food vendors. There were the usual farm animal shows, cows, roosters, draft horses. There were a few more unusual animals like llamas. And since this is Australia, Lots of sheep and goats. Even dog jumping competitions and oxen pulling contests. And if there had been a best dressed competition, I'm sure this gentleman would have won. But what we found most interesting was the axeman competition. Southern Australia and Tassie especially have a long logging history and there are a lot of skilled lumbermen. A good part of it is the equipment. Different axes and saws are needed depending on the event and the type of wood being cut. It is not unusual for an axeman to spend thousands of dollars on his equipment. There are a number of events. One is the standing block competition. The axeman cuts a scarf from one side of the block, then moves to the other side and cuts another scarf until the block is chopped in half. There is the underhand block competition where the axeman stands on the log and cuts it in half. Amazingly, no feet or toes were lost during our filming of this event. There is the single handed sawing contest and the double handed sawing contest. Until the championships, the axemen are assigned handicaps. Depending on their times and prior competitions, the better axemen are required to wait a certain number of seconds before starting. This is a clip of a relay event. The first leg of the event is a Jack and Jill double-handed saw event, but they have a 19-second handicap before starting. The second leg is the regular double-handed saw competition. The third leg is a standing block. And the final leg is an underhand block cut. The most exciting event is the tree felling competition. The axeman has to cut a small pocket into the log and jam a jigger board into the hole. He climbs up on it, then cuts a second pocket for another jigger board.
He does this again for yet another jig of board, then begins cutting a scarf into the log while standing on the third board. Once he's halfway through, he descends and repeats the process on the other side of the log and continues cutting until the log is cut in half. In this clip, the second axeman has a 90 second handicap. And the third has a 120 second handicap. That's a tremendous lead given to the first guy, but the third man almost catches him. This is the marathon event, and considering these guys have been competing in events all day, it's not hard to understand why they need a breather before climbing down. We were exhausted just watching them. The finale of the show was a grand parade in which horses, cows, alpacas, pigs, sheep, trucks, tractors, lawnmowers, and basically anything capable of moving in line participated. There were even wood chippers and wooden boats on trailers for this grand event. A great day and an interesting look at local Tasmanian culture and traditions. Thanks for watching. Find more travel and how to videos on our blog site at www.justalittlefurther.com or our website at www.nanacups.com.